Sir, you are on live. Sir, thank you. Start. Dear students, good morning. Please get all your doubts clarified today. We'll be starting the lecture with a very, very important question from financial statements. We will do this question completely in a perfect manner with all the discussions. Here we begin. Let's understand the question. Let's understand the question and adopt the question too. So we are going to adopt this question fully. It's a lengthy question, guys. We'll be trying to give the answer to this lengthy question. See the size of the question. Now ready with the answer, please. Yes, guys. Good morning, everyone again. Very good morning. We'll be doing this question in parts. So good morning. Here we begin. Yes, dear students, we will have discussion regarding this question and we'll be doing it in installments. In the first part, we will be understanding the question. Let's understand the question very well. The question is very lengthy. The name of the company is Felgun Limited. The year ending is 31st of March 23. Information of one year is given only. Ikti share capital is 10,000 shares of 100 each. 10% preference share capital is 4,000 shares of 100 each. We are having journal reserve. We are having debentures, 2,000 debentures of 10%. We are having balance in securities premium. We are having land, non-depreciable asset. We are having machinery and furniture, depreciable asset. 
and these are provision for depreciation on machinery and furniture contra accounts. The trade receivables are three lakh ten thousand. Return below three lakh ten thousand. The trade payables are the trade payables are seventy two thousand. Cash in hand, cash at bank. Bank overdraft. The bank overdraft may be sanctioned. Okay. Sanctioned for long term. Sanctioned for long term, but uh, it is always repayable. Take at your will. Repayable at your will. Always repayable. at will so we will treat it as short term borrowings alternatively we can take it as long term portion mentioned but we will prefer to treat as short term then there is another loan which is payable after three years so secured by so and so next is a current liability named unclaimed dividends Short term loans and advances. No, no, it is a loan to director nine. Sorry, it's a loan from director. Loan from director. It is short term borrowings. Then adjusted purchases are given, closing stock is given. Sales are given, carriage, inward, miscellaneous expenses, selling distribution, depreciation, salaries, director fees. Traveling expenses and a separate item number foreign tour. Profit and loss account. Profit and loss account balance of the last year office expenses and rent received. And there are total 12 points to be taken care of. You are required to prepare balance sheet and statement of profit and loss account uh, as per sh uh, schedule one, the schedule three, division one. Schedule three, division one. And all working should form part of the answer. The 12 points are. The first point is regarding capital. The second point is also regarding capital. The third point is regarding land. The fourth point is regarding bonus shares. The fifth point is regarding trade receivables. The next is depreciation. Next is bank balance. Next is miscellaneous expenses. Next is contingent liability. And next, next is interest accrued but not due. And next is declared dividend. And the last is interest on debentures for the year is outstanding. And if you do it carefully, you need to match the answer in the first go. We have taken care of the question at first level. Now we'll be starting with the second level. Good luck. We'll be doing it very slowly in parts. In parts. Good morning, everyone again. Anybody wish to say anything? Guys, you want to say anything? I begin.
here is the performer and then the, all the knowledge will go examination presentation in the best one Yes, dear. Books of Palgun Limited. We are talking about balance sheet. So let's start with the balance sheet. Balance sheet as on or as at Particulars note number and amount. The section one is equity and liabilities. You have already done the chapter, so it is a matter of practice for you all. We'll be going concept wise and the concept learning. The part one is shareholders funds. Shareholders funds. Here we are having minor head share capital. And. Reserves and surplus. It will be note number one, note number two. It's beautiful. We will only present those items which are required, not all. We continue. We said we go to the second part. We said non current liabilities so in non current liabilities we are having again uh, long term borrowings long term borrowings We are mentioning only those points which are required, nothing else. So there is no other point to be mentioned here. So we continue further. Long term borrowings, point number three. Next is we go to current liabilities. In current liabilities, we go to short term borrowings. It is note number four. The next is trade payables. The next is. Just remember. Other current liabilities.
the next is short term provisions now we will write short term short term provisions short term borrowing short term provisions only if there is any short term provision required on the credit side let me verify let me verify i will come back to you be very confident be very confident i couldn't find any short term provision from the trial balance i move further point number 4 nothing is there short term provisions short -term, no doubtful debts no doubtful debts i'm saying no doubtful debts guys there is no short term provision the task is over and we are going damn slow as i said we are going very slow so other current liabilities now what are other current liabilities so we must have a note number 5 and we make it the total now we go to the asset side now we go to the asset side we say this is section 2 this is section 2 asset side and the first major head is non current assets here we are having five parts the first part is remember what was the first part remember it tangible fixed assets and intangible assets second part is See, this is not second part this is first major head it will have sub sub head 4 it will have four four sub heads the first sub head is the first sub head is tangible fixed assets or you call it fixed assets or you call it fixed assets you call it tangible fixed assets you call it fixed assets change the name this is intelligence now change the name fixed assets you know as standard wise yes now intentionally i am doing so so that when you commit mistake and then you rectify you remember perfectly so i will call it now i will change the name i will say property plant and equipment so the first part is property plant and equipment next is intangible assets but let me check up in the question i feel we do not have any intangible asset we do not have any intangible assets so the task is over the task is over do we have any investments long term investments i haven't seen i haven't seen non current investments i haven't seen i haven't seen any non current investments i haven't no defer tax asset there is no long term loans and advances long term loans and advances on the asset side let me evaluate the assets again it takes time but the answer will be perfect there is none 
There is none, 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 none. There is nothing. Okay. So next we go to the uh, B is not there, C is not there, D is not there, E is not there. So we go to the next part of the question. We go to current assets. We don't have current investments. We don't have current investments. So we start with the first part inventories. Second part trade receivables, note number, note number is six. Note number is seven. Trade receivables. Cash and cash equivalents. Now, short term loans and advances. Let me check up. Is there any short term loans and advances? Trade receivable. Yes, it's note number seven. Trade receivables. Cash and bank. Let me check up. Let me check up points to be covered. Points to be covered. There is a note regarding trade receivables. We agree. Now, uh, on the current asset side, on the current asset side. Yes, there is cash bank. We are making the note. Cash bank, we are making note. Cash and cash equivalents. Regarding other current assets, there is none. So we feel the task is over and that's done. The task is complete regarding balance sheet. We will fill the information as and when required, but the task is done. So you make brackets or you don't make brackets. That is not important at all. Now, in the next part, we are going slow. We'll be discussing the performa of statement and statement of profit and loss account. Good luck. Good morning, members. Good morning. You are doing an excellent question, detailed question, beautifully. Don't miss it, please. Be very positive and very responsible. Next part is going to be rough. Everyone, next part is going to be rough. Believe me, the next part, in the next part, what we'll do is, we will say C, P, C, E, F, D O cost of material consumed, purchase of stock in trade, change in inventory of dash dash employee benefit expense, finance cost, depreciation, amortization, other expenses. Doing that kind of hard work in rough, I'm not doing fear, I'm doing rough. I will do fear again two times. So we said, let's go by the let's go by the incomes and expenses. Let's do it in fear now. Now 
to get a minute to remember statement of profit and loss account. You get a minute to revise it. Yes. You get a minute to revise it. Get back to me. Get the points clarified. Guys, we'll continue now. Let's first of all make the information ready regarding the profit and loss account. See, the first item is a balance sheet item, second item is balance sheet item, balance sheet item, balance sheet item, balance sheet item. These are all balance sheet items, leaving it, leaving it. All are the balance sheet items. I leave it. All are the balance sheet items. Here is the items which are required. Adjusted purchases. Closing stock. Sales. Carriage inward. Do you remember C, P, C, E, F, D, O? So carriage, this will go under O. Miscellaneous will go under O. Selling distribution under O. Depreciation under D. Salaries under employee benefits, employee benefits. Director fees under O. Traveling expenses under O. Office expenses under O. So, OK. That means we don't have any finance cost here, but there is a debenture interest below. Remember it. CPC, cost of material consumed. Purchase of stock in trade. Purchase of stock in trade. So, this will be the purchase. Opening, opening is, opening is nil. Opening is nil. If I consider like that, the opening is nil. The opening stock is not given. It becomes very difficult to show the change. If I show it under cost of material consumed, the life will become easy. Cost of material consumed, the life will become easy. Opening stock is not there. Okay. We have the option that means next. First point balance sheet item, second point balance sheet item, third point uh, balance sheet item, fourth point balance sheet item, trade receivables balance sheet item, depreciation. Okay, that is just a breakup, nothing else. Uh, balance sheet item, miscellaneous, it is just the information displaying. Seems very comfortable, guys. Go ahead. Go ahead with the performer. You will succeed. Here we are with the performer of statement of Profit and loss account. Particulars. Note number
and amount. Where is the question? The question says, we are doing it very slow. We say revenue from operations. Need not have any note, there is no information given. Other income. In the name of other income, I just have rent received. So you can show a separate note or you can write it like this. Then you need not make a separate. I said this is total revenue. Format should be very clear, then we will be having no doubts. Now I go to the expense side, expenses. In expenses, I will only write those words which are required, not all. Cost of material consumed, purchase of stock in trade, Purchases of stock in trade. You can fill either CPC, you can fill any. So you can fill any. So uh, what should we do? Cost of material consumed. If we show as cost of material consumed, then change we need not fill. I want to fill change. So I will say purchase of stock in trade. I have made opening stock as nil. So purchase of stock in trade. Next is change. In inventories. Or inventory of stock in trade that is a change opening we are not given assumed nil e f d e, o employee benefit cost now 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 Purchase of stock in trade. Purchase of stock in trade, we need not make any note. Note number no. Change in inventories, yes, I will make the note. Change in inventories, I will make the note. Note number nine. Employee benefit, no note is required. Finance expense, oblique cost. Depreciation and this is actually debenture interest. If there is any other expense, okay. Depreciation and amortization. Other expenses. We are having note regarding depreciation. We are having note regarding other expenses, here we say these are total expenses. And if we compare the total expenses with the total income, we will come to know uh, profit before tax. Profit taxation is not there in the question, so I will say profit for the year. Basically, this is PBT profit before tax. Now, 
now we will make note number and working notes notes to accounts so notes to account so i will say note number i set note number is my style of doing it anybody can make the note number in the way they feel like note number 1 i will tell the information regarding share capital i will say share capital I will say author authorized share capital. Now I will be doing little brief for your benefit. You are saving time. Authorized share capital. We said equity and preference. Authorized share capital. We go to the question note number one. Note number one: twenty lakhs and ten lakhs. and in the books it's less 20 lakhs and 10 lakhs 20 lakhs and 10 lakhs let's do one thing we we'll start with the notes of accounts after we will have a stoppage here we'll first discuss among ourselves any doubt still now then we'll start the next part members good morning again please you are not asking your doubts you must guys we are starting with notes to accounts note number 1 share capital authorized share capital rupees 20 lakhs equity share capital rupees 10 lakhs preference share capital that is rupees 30 lakhs where we will justify the same will justify the same here authorized capital it's done next is paid up share capital next is paid up theek hai issued subscribed and paid up share capital issued subscribed and paid up share capital 10000 4000 then we said issued subscribed and paid up share capital we said 50 and 10% preference we said 10000 and 4000 of 100 each rupees 10 lakhs rupees 4 lakhs rupees 14 lakhs we make a special mention including note number 2 point number 2 including 2500 shares including 2500 ekp shares issued for a consideration other than cash my note number 1 gets accomplished now i go to note number 2 my note number 1 gets completed now i go to note number 2 i talk about reserve and surplus i talk about reserve and surplus i said capital reserve 
or I said it revolution reserve. Revaluation reserve. Out of revaluation of land. One lakh fifty thousand. Securities premium. Journal Reserve. Profit and loss account. Surplus. Let's find the information and come back. On the credit side, you will find the things the General reserve. The general reserve is two lakh eighty five thousand. Security premium is general reserve is two lakh eighty five thousand. Two lakh eighty five thousand. Security premium is two lakhs. Balance brought down is. It's all hard work, guys. Nothing comes without hard work. Securities premium is no, sorry, it is fifty thousand. We need to correct the thing. We need to correct the thing. We will. We will. Next part. The balance in PNL account is forty thousand. Forty thousand. Let's correct and come back. Forty thousand. Now current year. There will be net profit or loss. I can't say presently. Current year there will be a profit or loss. I can't say presently profit or loss. I can't say presently profit or loss. Acha, we have to capitalize uh, uh, the bonus issue. Therefore, the remaining share capital will be less. Uh, we have to issue equity shares. We have to issue equity shares. One equity share of against every five shares held. Uh, so uh, two lakh, one against five, uh, one against five, two lakhs. We have to reduce the reserves by two lakh. We need to reduce the reserves by two lakh. So equity share capital will increase by two lakhs. Equity share capital will increase by two lakhs. Total will become sixteen lakhs. Total will become sixteen lakhs. Revaluation Re reserve cannot be used, but we can use other free reserves. So we have utilized it. Securities premium. Securities premium fifty thousand less utilized for owners issue. The balance is nil. General reserve two lakh eighty five thousand less replied for bonus issue. One lakh fifty thousand. The balance is one lakh thirty five thousand. Next is 
प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट सरप्लस बैलेंस ब्रॉड डाउन फोर्टी थाउजेंड गुड डिटेल्ड ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन गाइस पॉइंट नंबर डिबेंचर इंटरेस्ट आउटस्टैंडिंग डिविडेंट इंटरेस्ट एक रूड बिल्स रिसीवेबल मिसलेनियस एक्सपेंसेस कैश एट बैंक डेप्रीसिएशन डेटर्स बोनस प्रोफेशनली वैल्यूड देर इज नथिंग एल्स टू बी डिस्कस्ड प्रेजेंटली देर इज नथिंग टू बी डिस्कस प्रेजेंटली we will leave the space we will leave some space i don't know there is a profit or loss during the current year so i will leave some space and complete it later i go to note number 3 i go to note number 3 i say long term borrowings now regarding the long term borrowings regarding the long term borrowings regarding long term borrowings the question says six percent secured loan from fsc that's all six percent secured loan from sfc that is a uh, okay secured by charge on plant and machinery and the value will be wait 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 guys guys you are still need to wait they say the secured loan includes secured loan includes wait Balance of secured loan is inclusive of thirty six thousand. Balance of secured loans includes thirty six thousand for interest accrued. Interest accrued, but not due. This is for interest accrued, but not due. Okay. So six lakhs includes six lakhs includes where is six lakhs? We have read somewhere, no six lakhs. Sorry, it's not six lakhs. It's four and a half lakhs. It's four and a half lakhs includes thirty six thousand. Includes thirty six thousand. Four and a half lakhs includes thirty six thousand. So this will go under other current liabilities thirty six thousand to so forty five thousand. My four four lakh fifty thousand minus thirty six thousand four lakh fourteen thousand. Guys, ten percent debentures, two lakhs. Secured by floating charge.
on all assets. So long term borrowings are equal to 6 lakhs 14,000. The topic gets over. We can discuss the same later again sometime. Point number four. Point number four is short term borrowings. There is another long term borrowing. Wait, wait, wait. There is another long term borrowing. One more from 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 director. Loan from director and that is short term. Okay. Bank overdraft. Bank overdraft facility or bank overdraft. The amount is. The bank overdraft the amount is 2 lakh. Loan from director is 1 lakh. Bank overdraft is 2 lakh. Bank overdraft is 2 lakh. Secured by charge on stock. Loan from directors. I will treat it as unsecured because security is not mentioned. One leg. Total is three legs. I go to the next point, guys. Point number five. I will be reading the question again once more. There's so much to do. Uh, other current liabilities. Other current liabilities that will complete the liability side will match it, will go slow. Other current liabilities. It will in, in debenture interest accrued but not due. Debenture interest accrued. Interest on secured loan accrued. Unclaimed dividend. And what not? Thirty six thousand. The venture interest for the year two lakh into ten percent. Two lakh into ten percent. Twenty thousand. Unclaimed dividend. Unclaimed dividend. What are on the credit side? Share capital, general reserve, debentures, security, premium. Okay, 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 okay. Provision, provision. Trade asset, cash, bank, loan, 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 unclaimed dividend, short term, sales, profit and loss account balance, rent received. Then uh, let me find some other current liability if I can. If I can find some other current liability, 
paid receivables, expenses, bank balance, expenses, loan includes, contingent liability, debenture interest, nothing is there. So guys, unclaimed dividend is same as it was the figure, unclaimed dividend. Unclaimed dividend is 23,000. Unclaimed dividend is 23,000. So total is 79,000. Now I wish to know your list of doubts. Then we will proceed. Good luck. Guys, ask your doubts. Ask your doubts, please. We continue with note number six that is regarding PPE. I will say land revalued. So this is seven lakhs plus one lakh fifty thousand. It is eight lakh fifty thousand. Next is plant and machinery. Next is plant and machinery, uh, 1470. Less provision for depreciation. Next is furniture. The 1470 furniture is four legs. Less provision for depreciation. The provision for depreciation is three legs and one leg ninety thousand. Eleven lakh seventy thousand and and two lakh ten thousand. The final value is two lakh ten thousand, eleven lakh seventy thousand, eight lakh fifty thousand, twenty two lakhs thirty thousand. Note number five is over. Note number six is over. Now note number seven is trade receivables. More than Six months old, others. So trade receivables are trade receivables are forty six thousand. Trade receivables, trade receivables are three lakh ten thousand. Three lakh ten thousand. Trade receivables are three lakh ten thousand, forty six thousand, and others.
नेक्स्ट नोट नंबर एट इज कैश एंड कैश इक्वी बैलेंस हेयर कैश इन हैंड हेयर बैलेंस विद बैंक now this will make the note complete and easy now cash in hand is 134000 cash in hand is 134000 the bank balance is 305 remember please the bank balance is 305 remember please bank balance is 305 bank balance is 305 must remember bank balance is 305 and uh, 305 55000 55000 305 55000 2 lakh 50000 4 lakh Thirty-nine thousand. Note number eight is complete. Let's fill this much of information before going further. So, note number one. Note number one. It is sixteen legs. Note number one. It is sixteen legs. Note number two is pending. Note number three, it is six lakhs fourteen thousand. Note number four and five, it is three lakhs and seventy nine thousand. Other than then. Other than that, the trade payables are to be copied from the question. Trade payables, trade payables, trade payables are seventy-two thousand. Trade payables are seventy-two thousand. Next item number is. Ah, uh, that's all. That's all. On the asset side, property, plant, and equipment. Sixth note number. Property twenty two lakh thirty thousand. Inventories closing stock is given in the book. Inventories. Inventories closing stock. Given along with the adjusted purchases closing stock one lakh twelve thousand. Trade receivables. We have a note. Trade receivables seven and eight. Ah, uh, three lakh ten thousand. This total of the asset side is yet to be reconfirmed. It is just imaginary. Twenty to thirty plus one lakh twelve thousand plus three lakh ten thousand plus four lakh thirty nine thousand. It's all imaginary. It is not sure. It is subject to confirmation. Please remember, it is subject to confirmation. it is i am again writing 3091 but please understand it is not final it is subject to confirmation 
I am going to fill the figure of reserve and surplus, but again, remember it is imaginary. It is subject to confirmation. This 4,26,000 is reverse calculation technique. It is not for sure. It is subject to verification. Here total is 4,26,000. Please make sure it is subject to verification. Net profit for the year, it is through backward calculation. It is through backward calculation. Again, be very sure it is subject to confirmation. We will change the values if required. Next, in the next part, you will understand the same. Let's take a small halt. Guys, good morning. Say something good. How are you? Working hard. List of doubt is ready. Make sure I am going to complete this question. I will be ready with the list of doubts. I will be ready with the list of See the hard work we are doing. Can you imagine it? Can you imagine it? Note number nine. Note number nine. Dear students, now let's begin with the statement of profit and loss account. Where are sales? Sales are eight forty-six thousand. Other incomes, the rent received is. Other incomes, 24,000. Purchase of stock in trade. The purchase of stock in trade is. The purchase closing stock is out of purchases only. So 3,37,000, 2,25,000 plus 1,12,000. Closing stock is 1,12,000 minus opening stock is nil. I uh, take it as this. I will make the separate note regarding this. 3,27,000. Change in inventory will be 1,12,000. I will show you the note. I will show you the note. Employee benefit cost and finance cost. Now the working notes have increased. Finance cost, there is one another item as well. So there is some change. We are making one more working note, then one more working note, then one more. Salaries are Salaries are seventy two thousand. Salaries are seventy two thousand.
now go to note number nine. Note number nine is change in inventory of stock in trade. Opening minus closing. Opening nil assumed. Closing one lakh twelve thousand. The change is one lakh twelve thousand. So that is note number nine. Note number ten. Finance cost. That will include the venture interest of 20,000 and interest on secure loan. Interest on secure loan, I don't remember the figure. It was maybe 36,000, maybe something else. Interest on secure loan, 36,000. So this is going to be 56,000. Next is depreciation and amortization. Depreciation on plant and machinery, depreciation on furniture. Depreciation on plant machinery 110 and 70. Other expenses. Starting from the very beginning, expenses means debit balance. Expenses means debit balance. Other expenses is carried inward 17200. Miscellaneous 10200. Selling distribution has a breakup. It shows some breakup. Miscellaneous shows 500 order fees. Audit expenses. Audit expenses 5000. Then the remaining are 5200. Audit fees is 5,000. There was one more adjustment. Next expense is uh, miscellaneous expenses, depreciation salaries, director fees. Director fees, 40,000. Director fees forty thousand. Foreign travel expense foreign travel expense foreign travel expense others. So travel expense fifty and eighty.
50 and 80. Then office expenses 28,000. Then office expenses 28,000. So 17,200. Lag thirty thousand four hundred. So two lag thirty thousand four hundred. Depreciation one lag eighty thousand fifty six thousand. Plus one lakh eighty thousand, plus fifty six thousand, plus seventy two thousand, plus minus plus three lakh twenty seven thousand, seven lakh fifty three thousand, seven lakh fifty three thousand. 400. Now the amount will not agree. That means we have to find the reason of difference. The reason of difference. Let's go back to the question and minutely analyze each and every point. Now, uh, regarding declaration of dividend, we ignore that is a separate point. 20,000 is okay. Financial interest accrued 36,000. Uh, uh, we have shown this wrongly because it is already uh, the balance in secured loans is inclusive of interest uh, on accrued but not due. It is inclusive of interest accrued but not due. We have taken two effects of the same. We cannot Reason being, it is already recorded. The second effect, interest, we are not showing, not visible. Why not visible? We can't say the creativity of the author is wrong. The creativity of the author is wrong. We can't help it. It is already recorded. Well, balance is agreeing. We cannot take. So therefore, Finance cost will remain to be 20,000. Finance cost will remain to be 20,000 for sure. No doubt about it. And it will be 7,33,000. Now the gap of items will further increase. No problem. Now we were going to recheck it smartly. We are going to recheck it smartly. Point number nine. So finance cost is this. This is finance cost. Next. I am going to scan every information of the question for perfection now. Uh, the de declaration of dividend, okay. Contingent liability, miscellaneous expenses, 5,000, okay. Uh, uh, scheduled banks, non scheduled banks, okay. Depreciation includes uh, 180,000, is okay. It's already in the trial balance, one effect, okay. Uh, uh, dividends, uh, the, the transfer reserves is okay. Uh, land is professionally valued. Uh, Revaluation reserve, 150,000, is okay is okay is okay is okay we have acknowledged rent received uh, office expenses p and l account previous balance traveling expenses altered salary depreciation miscellaneous miscellaneous we are going okay guys sales closing stock is in the trial balance so we have taken it in the balance sheet closing stock it's okay loan from director unclaimed dividend we took it as a liability it's okay. Then, 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 then these both loans are liability. That is perfect. 
that is that is perfect. Forty five thousand into six percent twenty seven thousand. Twenty seven thousand. How interest is included? Anyway, leave it. Cash bank is OK. Trade payables, trade receivables, trade payables, trade receivables. OK. Provision for depreciation on these two assets, land, uh, securities, premium, debentures, journal. So we have taken into a factor everything, guys. Now what we need to do is uh, the quick audit of the same, and that will be the last leg of the portion. Good luck. Be ready for the next harbor. Guys, no doubt still. Guys, no doubts. First of all, let me check the total. Let me check the totals again very fast now. 16 lakhs, 4 lakh 26,000, 6 lakhs 14,000, 3 lakhs 72,000, 79,000, 30 lakh 91,000. On the asset side, 2230, 1 lakh 12,000, 3 lakh 10,000, 4 lakh 39,000, 30 lakh 91,000. Statement of profit and loss account, 8 lakh 46,000 plus 24,870. 3 lakh 27,000 minus 1 lakh 12,000 plus 72,000 plus 20,000. Plus one lakh eighty thousand plus two thirty four hundred. Here is the problem. This total is not correct. We have found the problem, guys. Three lakh seven twenty seven thousand minus one lakh twelve thousand plus seventy two thousand plus. Uh, the amount is uh, this is seven seventeen four hundred minus eight seventy. The amount is one fifty two six hundred. This total is wrong. So one is total expenses, total is wrong. Okay. What else? What else? Share capital 16 lakhs. Note number one, we wrote share capital 16 lakhs. The breakup of share capital is 12 lakh plus 2 lakh. 12 lakh plus 2 lakh. We'll make the correction later. Reserve and surplus revolution reserve 1 lakh 50,000, 1 lakh 35,000 general reserve. PNL balance one lakh forty one thousand, one lakh fifty thousand, one lakh thirty five thousand, one lakh forty one thousand. Total is four lakh twenty six thousand. Long term borrowings, long term borrowings, uh, four lakh fifty thousand minus thirty six thousand for fourteen six fourteen. Okay. Short term borrowings, bank overdraft two lakhs and unsecured loan one lakh, uh, three lakhs. Okay. Other current liabilities. Other current liabilities, uh, this is uh, 79,000. PPE, 1170, 8,50,000, 2,10,000. Okay. Trade receivables, more than three, less than. Uh, the next is, uh, this is 305, 439. Okay. A stock change, okay. Debenture interest is okay. Uh, how it is arrived, we know it. It is 2 lakh into 10 percent. Two lakh depreciation is 1 lakh 80,000. Next are these expenses. Let's check the total 17,200 plus 5,200 plus 5,000 plus 40, 50, 90,000 uh, plus 1 lakh 8,000. Guys, the totaling is wrong.
minus 230,400, 17,200 plus 5,200 plus 5,000 plus 1,8,000 plus 1,8,000 compared with 230,400, 5,000 difference is being caused, 5,000 difference is being caused. The totaling need to be checked. The totaling need to be checked. So this totaling need to be checked. Let's identify, then go again with it. This is to be checked. This is to be checked. Now, what else is to be checked? Let's go. Now, official capital 10 lakh, 10 lakh. Preferential capital 4 lakhs, 4 lakhs. No problem at all. General reserve 2 lakh, 85,000. Yes, 2 lakh, 85,000. Debentures 2 lakh, okay. A securities premium 50,000, okay. Land 7 lakhs is okay. Uh, plant machinery 1470 minus provision 3. It is 1170. Let's check the figures. 1170. 1170. It's okay. Uh, next is 4 lakhs minus 190, it's 210. Minus is 210, okay. But trade receivables 3 lakh 10,000. Trade receivables 3 lakh 10,000. 3 lakh 10,000. Bank overdraft 2 lakhs and other secured loan uh, 4 lakh 50,000. 450, the breakup is 36,000. The breakup is 36,000 goes. 36,000 goes elsewhere. What are the values you have told me, guys? 2 lakhs and 4 lakhs, 50,000. Two lakh and four lakh, 50,000, four lakh, 14,000, six lakhs. Bank overdraft, two lakh. Loan from directors, loan from directors, one leg. Loan from directors, one leg. Unclaimed dividend, 23,000 is okay. Cash in hand, cash at bank, 4 lakh, 39,000. Cash in hand, cash at bank, 4 lakh, 39,000. Purchases are 3 lakh 37,000, 2 lakh 25,000 plus 1 lakh 12,000, 3 lakh 37,000. 3 lakh 37,000. Guys, 3 lakh 37,000. Here is another correction. 3,37,000. Another thing. Wait. Hard work has not stopped now. Sales are 846. Sales are 846. Sales are 846. Sales. Carriage inward. Miscellaneous expenses are 17,200. 10,200. Miscellaneous. 46,600. Miscellaneous. Depreciation. Separate head. Yes, separate head. Director's fees 40,000. Uh, travel 130,000. Office expenses 28,000. 2,72,000. 2 lakh. Two lakh seventy two thousand. Again, tell me why. Compare it seventeen two hundred ten two hundred seventeen two hundred ten two hundred. Next is. 46600 selling and distribution that is missing 
there is one another item that is missing selling and distribution selling and distribution is missing selling and distribution is missing selling and distribution is missing now let's at least try now make this much efforts and then we'll uh, revise it again now this is Three lakh thirty seven thousand three lakh thirty seven thousand other expenses are other expenses are including selling and distribution expense. Selling and distribution expense, 46 something, 46, 600. Now 17, 200, 10, 200, 90,000, 1 lakh, 8,000, 46, 600. It is 2 lakh, 72,000. Two lakh seventy two thousand. Now the total will be three lakh thirty seven thousand minus one lakh twelve thousand plus seventy two thousand plus uh, plus two seventy. It is seven sixty nine. It is seven sixteen. This is another connection. Here there is another section. Okay, guys, let's make it the final attempt, the good attempt. Okay, if we do it now. Dear students, now let's see it. It's all well here. It's all well here. Totaling is okay. Everything is okay. The balance sheet total is 30 lakhs 91,000. In statement of profit and loss account, we found the first error here. It was written wrongly 3 lakh 27,000. It is 3 lakh 37,000. Check the total here. So totaling was done correct. Next is uh, the, the interest of state loan was already recorded in the book. So it has to be one impact only of the balance sheet. So the impact on finance expense is removed. Next is other expenses includes selling and distribution expense. It was missing from the total. It becomes two lakh seventy two thousand. Grand total corrected one is seven lakh sixty nine thousand. Issued share capital, including bonus shares, is twelve lakhs twelve thousand of hundred each.
फाइनेंस कॉस्ट इन इज ओनली डिवेंचर इंटरेस्ट आई विल गिव अ नोट एंड सेलिंग एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्सपेंस इज पार्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑल सेट ऑल डन कॉन्सेप्ट वाइज एर इज नॉट पॉसिबल टोटलिंग हैव बीन रीचेक एंड नाउ फाउंड एवरीथिंग करेक्ट नाउ कॉन्टिजेंट लाइबिलिटीज dividend declared on 6th of april 2023 equal to rupees <laughs> dividend declared at the rate of 8% dividend declared at the rate of 8% next is is counted bills discounted where are bills discounted Bills receivable discounted thirty five. Bills discounted rupees thirty five thousand. Not yet mature. Why number two? Next. 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 Wait. Wait, guys. Wait. You must wait. Patience, guys. Wait. that's that's contingent liabilities now uh, a working note something like that if required working note bonus issue is equal to 10 lakh is equity share capital paid up that is 10000 equity shares that is 10000 equity shares 10000 equity shares One versus five shares, two thousand shares of hundred each. That is rupees two lakh. Okay. So utilization of free reserves, utilization of not free, utilization of securities premium. Is fifty thousand. And general reserve, rupees one lakh fifty thousand, two words lesson. This is working note. What else working note is required? Let me see. What else working note is required? Let me see. regarding land and building regarding land and building i must mention professional value revalued by professionals comments Interest of on 
secure loans for the year interest on secure loans for the year 2022-23 interest on secure loan for the year 22-23 has already accrued interest on secured loans is already appearing in the trial balance there should have been parallel debit in the trial balance there should have been a parallel debit in the trial balance there should have been a parallel debit in the trial balance which was which was missing thus we would not show interest on secured loan as expense in the profit and loss accounting guys very very done thank you last 20 minutes last 20 minutes guys very important to ask your doubts hey i am going to share this file now immediately with you immediately means immediately now in the whatsapp group till i do this task in the next one two minutes prepare your doubts and do ask without wasting time i begin i am doing my task you please do your task Here is the question. Here is the question. I will share with you the question as well as the answer. Need your full support, guys. We have done a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous job. to ask your list of doubts guys fast eagerly waiting
to ask your doubts, please. Requesting you again and again. Less time and more of hard work expected from you all. Here we'll go with the answer. Next two minutes, we will be getting the answer to this question. First job. Balance sheet. Next job. Statement of profit and loss account. Next task is those two accounts. Yes, guys, the task is complete. Here is the question for you. Great task. Here is your WhatsApp number and you are getting it here. CMA, the top person are here. I share the file here, of course, number four. Here you get it, guys. Check it, please. Your list of doubts. I'm waiting. I'm eagerly waiting for your list of doubts. Please ask. Uh, in remaining time, we'll be covering few things. Yes, important, important. We'll be covering few things. I will show you one question we'll be covering to the accounting standards. Coming, coming to it, wait. Yes, guys. Now, you are requested to read this question on accounting standards and answer it, please. Read this question on accounting standards, please. In DS, read with AS is part of your syllabus. Read it 
accountant of a limited the company's a limited charges a probable loss of losing a suit in the books of accounts and also disclose the same disclose the same fact in the financial statements the probability of losing the suit is 25% the probability of losing the suit is 25% and he is recording it in the books so point 1 think about the answer second part accountant of a limited capitalized all the revenue expenses on repairs and maintenance to plant and machinery and is also disclosing the same as company policy first treatment is wrong second treatment is wrong third he is following accrual basis of if you follow accrual basis you need not disclose it separately it is implied next a limited is providing after sale expenses at the rate of 2% on sales for covering expenses during the warranty period and now because with the modern technique he need not provide for the same yes he can do so earlier he was provided it on estimated basis and in future he will be providing as and when paid on actual basis the task is okay done we'll be covering something more now after standard we come to your module and talk something else we we'll go to module and discuss something else if you don't ask any doubts doubts None. guys answer me regarding cash flow statement very quickly banking electricity accounts so let's talk about electricity accounts as well where are electricity accounts what briefing i can help will make you briefing 267 page number that was banking this is insurance this is insurance we have done insurance well banking banking so guys any doubt regarding banking accounts please ask let's do one revision again let's remember the perform of banking again very quickly capital reserve surplus deposits borrowings other liabilities and provisions cash in hand balance with rbi balance with other banks money at call short notice investments advances fixed assets other assets contingent liabilities and bills for collection income schedule 13 and 14 interest earned other incomes 15 and 16 interest expended operating expenses and another is provisions and contingencies guys regarding electricity companies these are special uh, governed by the special act they have their own schedule to pre prepare their financial statements but for the end user listen now carefully they maintain parallel two kinds of financial statements one in their own format and secondly as per schedule 3 as per as per schedule 3 of companies act as we have done just done a question now
Now, this is the question from electricity company. You can understand the question we did just now. It's quite similar now. You are given a trial balance. You are given some expenses, some income, some assets, some liabilities. And then they ask you, and then they ask you to prepare the balance sheet as per Schedule 3. You have done Schedule 3 just now with me, guys. What is the difference? There is no difference at all. There is no difference at all. If time would have permitted, we would have done this question now. Instead of calling it tangible assets, use a new name that is called PPE. Regarding insurance company, let's remember the performer again. Time is permitting us five minutes. Time is permitting us five minutes. We will do it. Guys. Guys, we are talking about which kind of insurance? We are talking about life insurance. Schedule 1 is premiums. Other incomes, there is no schedule. Schedule 2, 3, 4. So schedule 2 is commission. Schedule 3 is operating expenses and 4 is benefits paid. In case of, in case of, in case of life insurance. In case of general insurance, 1 is premiums. Uh, after 1, other incomes. 2, 3, 4, 2 is claims, 3 is commission, 4 is operating expenses. Let's go to the balance sheet. 5, 6, 7, the 5 is share capital, 6 is reserve and surplus, 7 is borrowing. That is the liability side. 8, 9, 10, 8 is investments, 9 is loans, 10 is fixed assets. 11, 12, minus 13, 14, 11 is cash and bank, 12 is advances and other assets 13 and 14 13 is contingent liabilities 14 is provision and 15 is miscellaneous expenditure going back one question from underwriting in the last four minutes one question from underwriting if time permits it where goes the underwriting now So underwriting is here, underwriting approx page number 130 around. Your speed and performance will be marked, guys. See how quickly you will be able to arrive at the answer. Let's do it. Now, this is a question from underwriting, and here we do it. Guys, it says the following underwriting took place. Uh, the underwriting is for 10,000 shares, 6,000 underwriter. X 2500 by 1500 Z. In addition, in addition, this is the underwriting. In addition, there was a firm underwriting. So there was a firm underwriting by X, Y, and Z. Total subscriptions, including firm. This is total firm are 8 plus 3, 11, 20, 100 are firm. That means these are including firm. So public applications are from the public. The applications are for 5000 shares from the public. From the public. 5,000 from the public, the 5,000 shares which are marked are marked are 3,500, marked are 3,500, unmarked are 1,500. Now, firm liability treated like unmarked, firm treat liability treated like marked, and you have to give the answer. See the beauty, guys. Statement showing underwriters liability. I am giving answer one statement showing underwriters liability. X, Y, Z total. Gross liability is. Gross liability is guys. Gross liability is 6,000, 2,500, 1,500, 6,000. 
1500 total is 10000 less marked applications marked applications are marked applications are 1000 2500 1000 2500 This is 5000, this is 500, this is 1000, total is 6500, less unmarked including a firm, less unmarked including firm, unmarked including firm are 2100, 1500, 3600, 2100 plus 1500, 3600. The benefit will go in the ratio of gross liability. The gross liability is 60%, 25%, 15%. So 3,600, 60%, 2,160, 900, and 15%, that is uh, 540. 6500-6600-2900. Now negative will go in the ratio of 4 is to 1 adjustment. G20. And 18. <laughs> Net liability excluding firm two five two zero nil and three eighty and the total is twenty nine hundred. That makes the answer perfect, guys. That makes the answer perfect, guys. See the answer here two five two zero. Then good luck, sir. Yes, sir. So thank you so much. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, thank sir, you, sir. Uh, uh, one thing I want to tell you that uh, uh, November 9th, 16th and 23rd, I mean today, uh, PPT, please send uh, urgently. Sir, I will share by late evening. Oh, OK, sir. OK, thank you. Thank sir. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.